Hey guys, we're uh, about to wrap up our day. We've been a tough one today. We got a lot done in this bathroom. We're finishing up our floor mud so we can start running some tile tomorrow. If you'll see, I got all the backer board up. We tape our joints the day before we waterproof so that'll be dry. We've roughed in our seat. That's metal lath. There are no screws in that lath on that pan. That's just laid in there. The mud holds the bottom in and the Duroc holds the lath in on those sides. And then I scratched in with masonry mix. And we raised the ceiling today too, up to about 90 inches because it was too low. So it's going to be really sharp. We've gotten a lot done here in about three days. So I'm pulling a little bit of this mud. It's, uh, it's always, always a little challenging. You know, everyone you do, you know, it really takes some patience. You know, you want it to be very, very flat. And you want the right amount of pitch. We usually put about, oh, a quarter inch per linear foot. So if that's three feet, I should have three quarters of fall from there to there. That way that water will run off really well. But still not be too hard of a slope, you know, for the client when they take a shower in here. But this is basically a cement and sand. It's just a damp mix. And it really has proven itself year after year for me. I've, I've been doing it now for probably 32 years and I have never had a problem with mud work. It, uh, they've been doing it for, oh my goodness, a long time. And, you know, I would like to see more, you know, contractors out there going back to the mud. There's some other, you know, technologies out there that that seem to work. But this is just one that I'm partial to. You know, you want it to be very, very flat. It, it takes some time to acquire the skill to be able to get it the way that you want it because it's really all by hand. And you don't want any low places or high places. So once I use a flat trial, I come with a wood float and I kind of kind of smooth it out a little bit. And then I always go back and check it with my level, you know, to make sure everything's nice and flat. You know, there's no valleys or, you know, dips in the floor. You don't want any water to hold anywhere. And you also want to make sure that you are the right height at your, at your drain. As you can see, we cover this up because it's a brushed nickel. So, you know, we want to make sure that we're, when we put our tile in, it's flush perfectly with this. So we're going to wrap this thing up and we're going to the house today. I've had enough.